Lynchpin, Are You Indispensable? by Seth Godin challenges the traditional workforce mentality and encourages readers to become indispensable in their professional lives. Godin argues that the labor market has drastically transformed from the industrial age to the present, and to succeed, one must adapt by becoming a, a linchpin, someone who is unique, invaluable, and irreplaceable in their role. Godin begins by tracing the evolution of the work environment, starting with the Industrial Revolution, which created a system rewarding compliance and the ability to follow instructions, a system where employees were seen as interchangeable parts in a machine. This system gave rise to the factory model of work, a model built on efficiency, predictability, and rules that apply to mass production. Employees were encouraged to conform with little regard for individuality or creativity. However, Godin asserts that this factory model is obsolete in today's rapidly changing, information-rich economy. The new economy rewards art, innovation, and emotional labor rather than compliance and conformity. In this context, the linchpin is the person who can connect, invent, and create value that is not easily replaced by others or automated by machines. Godin outlines several key attributes and behaviors that characterize a linchpin. 1. Emotional labor. Linchpins invest themselves emotionally in their work. They do not just work for a paycheck. They care and put a piece of themselves in the work they do. Godin stresses the significance of emotional labor the hard work of being creative, original, and passionate. This cannot be written in a manual. It comes from the heart. 2. Art. Godin redefines art not just as painting or music, but as any act of creativity, innovation, and passion. Lynchpins, Godin argues, bring their art to their job, turning each task into an opportunity to make a difference. Lynchpins do not do just enough to get by. They go above and beyond to create remarkable results. 3. Gift culture. Being a linchpin involves generating and sharing gifts without an expectation of direct reciprocity. This approach builds strong social connections and reputation, making a linchpin indispensable. 4. Overcoming the resistance. Godin discusses the lizard brain, the part of the brain that is governed by fear and seeks to avoid change and risk. Linchpins learn to overcome this resistance to pursue innovative and creative endeavors. 5. Shipping. A linchpin does not succumb to perfectionism, but knows when to ship the product or service, meaning to complete and deliver it, even when there are opportunities for endless tweaks and improvements. Shipping is about meeting deadlines and overcoming the fear of judgment or failure. 6. Unique Value Proposition Linchpins possess a unique set of talents, knowledge, and skills that they continuously develop. This unique combination makes them difficult to replace and allows them to provide significant value. Godin emphasizes that becoming a linchpin is not contingent on one's job title or position within a hierarchy. Everyone, from executives to frontline employees, can become indispensable by how they do their work. He encourages readers to take initiative, challenge the status quo, and provide leadership, regardless of their official role. To foster an environment where linchpins can thrive, Godin urges businesses to move away from the factory model and establish cultures that celebrate creativity, innovation, and individual contributions. Companies that fail to adapt to this new reality will struggle to compete in a marketplace increasingly defined by uniqueness rather than commodity. Godin cautions that there is no map to becoming a linchpin. It is a personal journey that requires courage, hard work, and a willingness to be vulnerable. The path to indispensability involves confronting fears of inadequacy and the risks associated with standing out. However, those who navigate this journey successfully can achieve both professional excellence and personal fulfillment. At its core, Lynchpin is a call to reject mediocrity and embrace a work life that offers not only personal satisfaction, but also the opportunity to make a significant and positive impact on the world. By demonstrating that you cannot be easily replaced, you ensure that your presence in the workforce is not just valuable, but in fact indispensable. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.